parents come to me all with uh, unfortunate situations, situations of crisis and difficulties that are so crazy that 30 years ago we would think it's impossible for it to happen. And maybe if it would have happened 30 years ago, it probably would have been like one in a million. And yet what's happening now is it's constant, it's consistent. There are so many different families that are suffering with kids who go off the derech and kids who are cutting themselves and kids who are suffering emotionally, psychologically, psychiatrically. So we, we have to realize that this is not happening to you per se, it's happening to Klal Yisrael, it's happening to the world. Just an example, I was at a business meeting with a Chinese woman, she's worth approximately a billion dollars with a capital B, and somehow at the meeting somebody mentioned to her what I do. So she called me over afterwards and she starts telling me, you know, she has two kids, so each one's worth about a half a billion dollars, a boy and a girl. Her girl is normal in public school and behaving nicely, and the boy is a rebel. You know, he's like 15 years old, he dropped out of school, he dyed his hair blue, and he's, he's part of a, he's getting tattoos, and he's part of like this gang, and he smokes weed, and she sounded just like all of you. Why he do this? Why he do this to me? You know, and, and she's a little four foot, um, you know, Chinese lady, and she's like in so much pain. And what does she want? She came here from wherever, and she just wants to give her kid everything. He can, he, can, he can inherit the half, a, he has a half a billion reasons to behave. And they locked him out of the house. He's homeless. Because they went to the therapist. The therapist said he doesn't, he doesn't understand rules. And you have to show him rules and boundaries for his sake. You have to save his life. I, I almost had a Chinese couple here. But they couldn't get a letter from their rub. That was the problem. And, and it's the same thing. It's like, you know, why, why is he dropping out, turning his back on us? This, this is a, 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 a woman who's, a, you know, she's a businesswoman. She gets up in the morning. She goes, a nice lady. You know, normal, uh, hardworking, hardworking Chinese people. And she, my son's a bum, a nothing. If she knew Yiddish words, shaigitz, a gurnish, an osvarf, that's what she meant to say. I don't know how they say it in Chinese. Probably have some names also. But it ha it's happening to so many people for whatever reason. And that's part of what we have to understand, that it's something that's happening to the cloud. And if we understand what's really going on, then we'll be able to deal with it differently.